Hello everybody! So today we have something a little different for a change of pace for the type of content. Uh, typically I upload my watercolor, my watercolor process videos, creating paintings, but today I thought I'd do something a little different and that is reviewing some watercolor paints. Um, so I rarely get new uh, supplies honestly because the ones I get are really high quality and I've just been gifted um, some over the years so I've just accumulated a pretty good collection of paints and supplies and whatnot and the ones I do have because they are really nice um, brand like professional supplies they are able to last me a really long time so that's why I don't I haven't been doing reviews very much um, but these are something I was really wanting for my birthday and I, I was gifted them and I'm really excited about it because these are specialty handmade uh, metallic watercolors. So in front of me here, now I don't know the uh, ones, I, w I don't know the exact names off the top of my head because I haven't opened them yet. Um, and okay, I have opened one. <laughs> I have opened one so I could take a look, a peek at it, um, but I haven't tried them out yet. So this is like, this is all new. So anyways, these, the brand is called Amorel. I think I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I came across her stuff on Instagram and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so insanely beautiful. Um, the metallic look of these paints um, on when, when it was shown it being used on paper, um, just in the photos. So, um, yeah, so I thought I would just test them out for you guys. Like I said, I haven't tried them yet. This is my first time trying, so I'm going to do like some squat, some squashes, <laughs> some swatches. And, um, this will be, this is definitely not a paid sponsorship or anything. This is, like I said, I was gifted these, I was wanting some. And so this is an honest review of what I think about them. Okay. So first off, I'll talk about the packaging. So, um, they came wrapped in this adorable paper. A, this like gift wrap paper that had blue Canadian leaves on it because they're from Canada and it was tied with a little blue ribbon and it was super cute. I'll show you the ribbon. So I already like unwrapped it and everything. Um, but uh, but yeah, so the, the they come in the little um, pot, pans, pots. Uh, they come in the little pans like this. And like I said, I already unwrapped one, but I love this packaging because it looks like candy. That's my first thought. It looks like little ch pieces of chocolate um, so I'll go ahead and just like unwrap one in front of you, but yeah, you can see there's a little, little leaf and then it shows you a, a stripe on the front just so you can see what color it is. And it's got this like brown, like craft kind of paper. I'm not going to do a good job at unwrapping this. So there we go. And the paper is like this, uh, um, aluminum foil. It's, it's that it's candy wrapper and that's why I love it. Like, I just want to eat this so badly. So, okay, so when you open it up, you can see the name of it right there. So this one's called Emerald Forest. And here's what the paint pan looks like. Hopefully that, that's a good, that's, I got a new can, I got a new phone. So I think this camera is a lot better for doing, uh, for doing my uh, videos on. So I'll go ahead and unwrap all of them and show you what they all look like so actually so here is oh i love this one this one's like super sparkly and this one's called dreamy super sparkle i love how just extra that extra that is so kind of see it's like very metallic in the the tube so or the pan so let me unwrap the other two and show you guys them side by side okay so here they are side by side I absolutely love how pigmented they look right off the bat, just just in the pans. Um, they're really, really pretty looking. So I'll show you. So as we know, this one is Dreamy Super Sparkle. Then we have Emerald Forest. Then this purpley color is Magic Violet. And I'll kind of just turn it and so you can see how shimmery it is. And this last beauty is night blue. So it's a very deep uh, cobalt kind of blue. So 
um, yeah, I really like this variety I got. Um, I mostly use I, I mostly use a lot of cool colors in my artwork. Um, those are just my favorites. That's what I lean towards. But I like having pops of like gold and silver. And the gold from the swatches on their website and the Instagram, I, I was um, I really liked how that was looking. But yeah, so that's what they look. So you can see, you know, in comparison to my hand, how they're small, but I know you know, with any professional, um, whether it's hair products or makeup or art supplies, um, it should last a long time. Um, I'm just gonna like do one thing real quick. I'm gonna like rub my finger on it and see if it comes off. This, this obviously is not a makeup tutorial, but I was just wondering, okay, no, it doesn't come off. I was like curious. I'm like, if I touch it, is it gonna get everywhere? But no, you can like, really rub it in there and you there's barely a sheen so anyways so let's jump into doing some actual swatches all right so real quick i guess just to let you all know the brush that i'm just going to be using to do these quick little swatches is uh windsor and newton and it's a size eight it's a round eight watercolor brush i love this one i use it a lot um and it's good for just like I like that it's got kind of a flat tip to it because it allows me to really spread color out. Um, I don't know, I just like the feel of it for when I'm having to place um, more color down. But when I'm doing like detail work, I'll just show you real quick. This is the one I use, and this is a six, and that's by Gumbaker. And um, yeah, Gumbaker's, I, I especially like their brushes. But anyways, so <laughs> let's get into this. I'm just gonna do, We'll just pick out and do one at a time, and then we'll we'll just show one at a time, and then I'll kind of, I will maybe mix some together and show you what that looks like. So I'm dipping my brush in the water first, and then I'm gonna do, 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 do. All right, so you can see there's already some pigment, and I just lightly, I didn't, you know, rub it in there real hard. <laughs> I just uh, lightly kind of swirled it around, so would go. Let me do one with a little bit more on it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is when you're just dipping in it. You can see how that shimmer like swirls around. Oh, I love that. That is so satisfying. Here we go. So you can see so now, instead of dipping it back in, let me see if I can get it even more pigmented. So we'll do a couple of swatches. There we go. All right, so we'll let those dry. And I'm gonna clean my brush off in between. Gotta do that so it's nice and clean. So now we're gonna go with this one, and this is Magic Violet. Here we go, just lightly. We'll do a couple of, you know, we'll do a couple of swatches where you can see it, it be a little lighter and what it looks like, a little lighter and a little darker. That one wasn't much of a difference now, was it? So let's really get some pigment on there. There we go. Look how pretty that is. So satisfying. We have the... Um, this one is Emerald Forest. Boop. Get a, like a little light swatch. That is really transparent. Ooh, let me zoom in a little. That's better. Oh my gosh, I like... <laughs> This phone, let me tell you how much of a world of difference upgrading my phone from a um, a 7 to a 10. The difference in the camera quality is crazy. I Especially for how me doing all my YouTube videos, it's been extremely helpful because this one actually, the for doing these zoomed in close-up shots, it's way, way better than the seven. I, I couldn't even do that with the seven, so yeah, I dig it. Ooh. Now that one, I that one already is like really sparkly. Oh my goodness. 
Let's get a, get a lot of pigment on this stroke. Or not. This one's a little harder to grab pigment up, but maybe it's not supposed to be highly pigmented, which is fine. Um, I didn't really have much like, um, or I, I can't, I can't remember how opaque the, what it was in the photos I saw on Instagram, but, um, anyways, um, but it's mega sparkly. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay. So let me do an overhead shot. All right. So we've given it a little bit of time to dry and I put the little swatches next to the the pans next to each swatch so let's talk about this um so definitely the blue and purple are the darkest or you're able to make them the darkest at least of, of these um pans that i have uh followed by um emerald forest and the sparkle gold one so i i can now this could be my brush stroke of course i might just need more pigment for the blue the pur purple is looking like it's got um more deeper darker pigmentation to it um but i really like how you can like with most watercolor at least um professional made um brand or nicer brands you can really vary the opaqueness of it in your brush strokes so you can either make it like a more pastel color or you can make it uh deeper which is something i really really love about watercolor now the gold I'm noticing is definitely more translucent. Even when I was really, it's it was I noticed it was harder to pick the pigment up, even swirling it around a lot. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be more opaque, but regardless, I swirled it around the same amount as the others to get that last one. Um, so you can see this one's going to be more of like maybe something you would overlay over top darker colors uh, or more of an accent rather than a deep like more opaque gold color but it is definitely the most shimmery um and actually let me kind of pick this up so you and i'm gonna turn the paper so you can kind of see so if i kind of it's a little hard to tell let me zoom out a bit oh that quality got really bad so we're not gonna do that <laughs> But yeah, you, you can see, just for me, like, turning the paper, you, you can see that sparkle in there. And um, secondary, as far as sparkle rating goes, I would definitely give the green one second place. And then the blue and purple are, are um, they still have a, definitely a metallic quality, but it's not as obvious as the other two. So... So yeah, so you can see which ones are more if you're wanting a more pigmented color and which ones you, you, to look for if you want more of that sparkly effect. Um, so anyways, yeah, let's let's jump into doing some swatches where we're kind of blending the colors together. I wanna see how that goes. Okay, so now let's do some blending and Go away, Nat. I know it's the summer, but you need to go. So let's do like. Ooh, that's an eraser. <laughs> Just regard that. So, first, what I'm going to do is have like two colors and then blend them in the middle. And then I'm going to do. Well, I don't really have very mixable colors, but I could at least mix the maybe the blue and purple, but eh, we'll see what happens. Let's just have fun with it and see what happens. Let's uh let's focus first. That would be that'd be cool. There we go. Oh, oh, there it is. And let's make a very uneven square. <laughs> and then we're going to do magic violet. Yeah, 
I, I definitely, um, I don't think I even mentioned my thoughts as far as the quality goes, but so far working with them, definitely very high quality. Um, I'm really, really liking them. Oh, also, I didn't even mention the watercolor paper I'm using. I'm using Arches, um, Arches cold press watercolor paper. It's a more expensive kind, but it's very good, very good stuff. Technically, I probably shouldn't be doing swatches on this paper, but it's it'll be okay. I have, I, I am um, the only other. I'm kind of running low, and I only have the pre-cut pieces um, from another line. But <sighs> I wanted to do I wanted to do these swatches of some really nice paper. Just for you guys. We've got some green mixed in, in that. That was to be expected because I did not clean it well enough, but that's okay. Oh my god, it's so sparkly. But yeah, the, the colors definitely blend together really well. Let's do one more. Let's see. Let's do purple and gold. I really like that color combination. Oh my god, this is so sparkly. Oh my goodness, I love it. I don't have anything like this. I am so excited to use this. Yeah, I don't have any watercolors that are metallic or especially not sparkly. Whoops, that was totally off center. Not the way that this is. It's, this is very, very cool. Like it is legit, like you can see those sparkles swirling in there. All right, so now I'm gonna just try to, I'm gonna combine them and just see what happens actually let me do let's do bl let's do blue first and then some gold while we're gonna do wet on wet and see how that goes okay purple. Let's not stray too far from the color wheel because <laughs> that's not going to turn out pretty. And then I'm going to do, um, okay now, okay so and I'm gonna do a circle and I'm just gonna let this dry. Ugh, I am awful at doing perfect shapes. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and then after that's dried, I'm gonna put the sparkly one on top and see how that goes. So in the meantime, let's just do a little fun, just connecting the four. And yeah, I would definitely say the the green is definitely, the Emerald Forest is definitely on the cooler side and the blue is on, mm, I, I, I would say the cooler side, but the, the violet color is de definitely a kind of more of a warmer violet. So just something to keep in mind if you're thinking of purchasing some. All right, we've given that blue a little bit of time to dry. I think it should be good. So let's pat some of that on. 
looks like a weird jack-o'-lantern face. <laughs> All right, it's kind of doing similar to what it did over there. But um, yeah, you know what would be really awesome? I could see using these colors for like galaxy paintings. Oh my gosh, that would be perfect. So let me zoom out just a tad. Yeah, something, man, yeah, especially this gold, that would be really cool if you did ga like galaxy themed paintings. Um, but yeah, the reason I was so interested in these is because I do fantasy artwork. So I really love very pigmented colors and sparkles and metallic. And I use like metallic pens. And so I was really interested in, in trying out metallic watercolors. And yeah, they're awesome. Like I said, this is a unsponsored, reviews is my honest opinion um so yeah uh that is my review of ah uh, ah uh, morel was that the name ah uh, morel yes that is the name ah uh, morel handmade and that's the thing that's the other cool thing they're handmade so um these oh yeah that's the other thing these are the first handmade colors i have uh handmade watercolors i've ever used so that's pretty cool um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll put a link to the shop, of course, if you're interested in purchasing them yourself. And thank you for watching. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to Aquafun. See you next time.